the tail of the bunny picnic. That's what it is. Brilliant. The needle, the world's smallest needle. A chocolate bunny. Gummy savers. Ice cube. <laughs> Just gonna have that right now. Your chocolate marshmallow egg you wanted. Cadbury. Those are the jelly beans and M Ms. Put them in a bowl. Yep, you can put them in a bowl. What do you think? This is the best Easter ever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh boy, in fact, for a chocolate bunny. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody! Yeah, Donald Duck. Here's some here. Daffy Duck. You see, Do oh, Donald Duck's on the front. Daffy, Daffy Duck. Duck. Yeah, it's Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck. <laughs> you want to pull too, Josie? This present was sent to the girls by Sandra. What name is oh, Sandra? Mm-hmm. Her name's Sandra. Yeah. We probably can open it with this. Yeah. Do you need something to cut it with? Well, these ones are all of it. This one is like. Yeah, those are pretty cool well, stamps. Okay. What? Might need more assistance. I don't know who's more excited, Josie or Liz. I am a I'm I'm excited. Are you afraid I was going to cut you? Are you afraid you were going to cut me? What? Whoa. Oh, how cute! Like the Easter Bunny. I don't know. Oh, I like Easter Bunny. Let's see what else there is for. It's for both of you, honey. Oh, a pair for you too. Ooh, and pee pad bands. That's cute. Take this out, Mickey. Josie just wants the cotton candy. What else is there? That's the last thing. You think it's something you wish for? <laughs> Keep going. Keep unwrapping. It's a matching game. Oh. We love the matching game at home. Yeah. You're, the animals. You're really good at matching games. Yeah. Can we try the rainbow sherbet cotton candy first? Yeah, can I? Mom, can I try it first? Livy always wants to be first. I wonder if that comes from school. What do you think, Josie? Oh no, she knows what to think of cotton candy. Yeah, it's a cotton candy. Yummy. Do you like the Yeah, you had McDonald's earlier. <laughs> Can you say thank you, Sandra? Say thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Can you say thank you, Sandra, Josie? <laughs> I said it when you were Why don't we say it on the count I know. of three? Okay, uh, yeah. On the count of three, say thank you, Sandra. One, two, three. Thank, thank you, Sandra. 
And Josie's trying to escape. And that was very nice. Thank you so much, Sandra. I think they love it. Oh, you got tape on your foot. <laughs> there. I want to do it, Grandma. What do you want to do? Oh, okay. This is a gift from our friend Lisa. All right, time for grandma's now. What? I got your Easter baskets. Okay, let's see what grandma got you. What's that? A unicorn bunny? So many unicorns. Take it. Okay. What else is in here? Oh, you get, Libby. If you squeeze it, I got one for Josie and I can't yeah. find what I do with it. You have to squeeze it. And, oh, there you go. Oh, that's fun. Hey, what's that? Wow, that's cool. Bubbles. Maybe we'll do that outside later. They're flavor bubbles. Oh, you can eat them. <laughs> Catch them on your tongue. Why can't we? Why can't we eat them? Because they're flavored. Let's see, cotton candy and watermelon. Which one did I get? Watermelon. Ooh, mom, are we going to drink those? This is a sucker with powder. Like Libby did her makeup this morning. I'm going to eat this chocolate. I'll show a little from mom. I did the best I could. You want to eat a chocolate too? Oh, I got mine. You got to look at what else is in your basket. You barely opened yours. I had my two drivers. Mm-hmm. Did you make sure it wasn't holding it? I had a classic thing I was trying to say. But yeah, I was able to pry it up and then I could take a pair of yeah. needles. Mom, look what's inside. Yum. And I charged two of them last night, and they both charged up and worked awesome. Yeah. Now you can see how, now you can see how pretty Josie and Libby's dresses are. You can see Josie's anyway. Super bright. Say, I'm a ballerina. You a ballerina? Chocolate. Didn't she? Oh, that's not mine. That's not mine. I thought this was my basket. I always get a pink basket with a bunny unicorn. Hey, that is mine. Let's give little charms <laughs> on the front. Want to get new Crocs that fit this year? Clearly, Josie has a unicorn favorite. <laughs> I, Bennett and Haley went to hide the eggs in the yard. And they got 
a little too much help from Rue, who was really good at stealing the eggs and running with them. Are you watching them hide the eggs? Easter eggs. Craig's just feeding up. He's like, eggs. He's taking a poop. Grab that egg. Keep getting them. Oh, that one's probably the best one. <laughs> oh, that looks like a cool one. You finding lots of eggs, Craig? <laughs> this side, okay? That, that's enough for you, because then the girls can find more, okay? Okay. Looks like you got your basket full anyway. You want to see the cat? Did she find an egg? I'm sure what she's doing. Are you going to get it, Josie? She said something about going to see a cat. No, she's missing her little cat. I, I have your cat right here. Oh, uh, but that's what she what meant. What are you looking for? Get my cat. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's never going to be a competitive Easter egg hunter. <laughs> she doesn't really care. <laughs> she wants the fancy color ones like you have. The like tie dye looking ones. Oh. What? Ooh. Oh, yeah, the iridescent. We <laughs> just lick that one over there. Mm. <laughs> Rue, what do you got? You bringing me an egg? <laughs> oh, no. no! No! What's wrong? Him! <laughs> Stephanie! Sister Frank. You, you, Franker. <laughs> She couldn't resist. Craig left his jacket at her house and he was so upset about it she had to bring it over. So she delivered it with Barney. Oh, really? <laughs> she knows Barney. Oh, he gave it back to her. <laughs> Sisterly prank, huh? Really? She brought you your jacket. My jacket. Oh, my baby. <laughs> you feel better now? Yes. Hmm. So when you left the room, you were talking something about the Muppets. 
That's the first time I ever heard about that they're going to be in this movie. Tell me about what's their role in in Craig's at it again. It'll be like a western movie when they find off Muppet villains. But like, what kind of Muppet villains? You know, like their leader was Constantine, the number one criminal. And when is this western movie taking place? In San Francisco. So it's it's Muppet, it's like Muppets Most Wanted. But with cowboy weapons. Yeah, and also American Tail, Five of Goes West, and Blazing Saddles. <laughs> Blazing. Are they going to eat beans? <laughs> this is going to no. be quite an adventure in California. Yeah. What's and Blazing Saddles about it? It's a Mel Brooks film. Mm -hmm. What happens in Blazing Saddles? They bow in the movie studio. Yeah. I've never seen that movie. They get in a pie fight, don't they, at the end? Yeah. Oh, are we going to do that? Sort of. Pie fights? <laughs> How about we like Twinkies? We'll throw Twinkies in. Hold on, hold on. Actually, that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I think we should do this. As long as they're still in the package. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in the package. <laughs> it's, I'm not, if I'm buying Twinkies, I'm going to eat Twinkies. <laughs> and I'm not going to buy Twinkies. So. <laughs> I guess that's it. Craig left us. <laughs> and now it's story time, folks. This one's called Klondike Do Not Eat Those Cupcakes by Amanda Driscoll. Hello, Klondike. Yes, those cupcakes look delicious. Yes, I know you love cupcakes a lot. But you heard your mother, no cupcakes until your sister's birthday party. Yes, Klondike, it is hard to wait. Really? Truly? Very? extremely hard to wait but you can do it no klondike you cannot have just one bite not even a nibble you saw that pretend the cupcakes are squid sandwiches or two born tacos or curried crabs oh right seals love squid sandwiches two born tacos and curried crabs my highly trained guard dog, Bruiser, will protect these cupcakes. That's very disappointing, Bruiser. Look, Klondike, a magician is here for the party. Check that there is nothing in his hat and nothing up his sleeves. Now watch closely as he pulls the art and arting hair out of his hat. Hocus, pocus, bogus. Klondike, don't do this. Think about your sister, please, pretty please. Klondike, do not eat those cupcakes. Oh boy. Klondike, do not eat those cupcakes. Yikes! Klondike, do not eat those cupcakes! Klondike, you ate those cupcakes. Don't even try to deny it. The dog did not make you do it. Uh-oh. Here comes your mother. And look at your poor sister. Dummy no cupcakes at her party. No candles to blow out. No wishes to me, unless, now this I have to see. Nicely done, Klondike. Yes, I know you, you love your sister a lot. Oh, you made a treat for me, too? That's very, um, uh, thoughtful. Hey, Klondike, it's finally party time. You know what that means? Klondike. Eat those cupcakes. D N. And this is and this is Craig e. Vavre saying, if you like this video, click like, subscribe, and happy April Fool's Day.